want to see the Pilates. That is our mission today. We didn't see them last time we were here. We faintly saw one in Patagonia, but ever since we've been in Arizona and we found out about these cool ass critters, <laughs> we want to see one up close and personal. We are currently on our way to Chiricahua National Monument. It is Sunday. That is usually the day that we do our hikes. As you guys know, it is hot in Tucson. So today I think the high is like 85 or 87. There's more shade there. We are getting a later start than we wanted to. You want to talk about that? Well, partially my fault, I would say. We plan on getting up at 5.30 a.m. So we wake up at 6.40. And we were planning on trying to be at Chiricahua at 7, leave by 6. We're leaving now at 7.30. It's an hour and 40 minutes away, so we will arrive by 9.47. Still about an hour and 20 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of getting there in the morning, <laughs> we're getting there early afternoon. It's only going to be a high of 87. <laughs> like that's not hot already. And 90% humidity. No so way! I didn't know like, that. <laughs> oh god. We have electrolytes and we're doing a nine mile trail with about 1800 feet elevation gain. So. <laughs> Last time we went to Chiricahua was Christmas Day. I actually wrote a blog post on Chiricahua National Monument back when we hiked it in, what was that? 2022. So Chiricahua is in southeast Arizona. It's about 30 miles ish east of Wilcox and then 120 miles southeast from Tucson. Okay, it's completely free to enter. There are no fees that are required unless you're camping. The visitor center is open seven days a week from 8.30 to 4.30. There is a free shuttle from the visitor center to access different parts of the park. In the years between the 1400s and the 1500s, the Chiricahua Apache called this territory their homeland. They were known as nomadic people who lived in huts and traveled to preferable climates throughout the year. Sounds relatable. After the Mexican-American War, the Southwest became a part of the United States in 1848. And then after that, early pioneers and settlers such as Louis Prue and Mary and Tom Bridger made Chiricahua their home. 27 million years ago, a nearby volcanic eruption spat ash into the atmosphere that eventually landed and created hardened volcanic rock. And as time went on, the volcanic rock eroded into rock spires, which you see as the tall pinnacles that are made out of rhyolite. In the park, you can find rock spires, caves, mountains, rivers, and lava flows. And the Chiricahua Apache called the area the land of standing up rocks. The rocks are truly immaculate. <laughs> that's that's Dylan term. <laughs> the Chiricahua Mountains are 20 miles wide and 40 miles long on an inactive volcanic range. So this is what intrigued Dylan and I the most. <laughs> the biome in the Chiricahua Mountain region has varying ecosystems that have many different kinds of animals. You can find both a grassland desert and a pine forest in the mountain range. And today we're going to be doing the Big Loop Trail, which is a loop around the park that goes through all the major attractions and we get to see pretty much all of the different biomes. Last time we did the Echo Canyon Loop Trail but today we're gonna take it up a notch. Some of the most common amphibians are the canyon tree frog, the tiger salamander, great plains toad, and the southern spadefoot toad. Commonly seen mammals are javelinas, white-tailed deer, skunks, guatemundis, cottontail rabbits, the gray fox, and the big brown bat. Snakes, lizards, and turtles are also commonly spotted reptiles. We want to see the guati. That is our mission today. We didn't see them last time we were here. We faintly saw one in Patagonia, but ever since we've been in Arizona and we found out about these cool ass critters, <laughs> we want to see one up close and personal. I have seen, <laughs> Dylan just went. <laughs> I have seen them in 
South America when I was in Costa Rica and I am enthralled by them. I literally think they're the cutest things ever. I kind of explain them as like half raccoon, half anteater almost because they have the little snouts, but they're so cute. They live in the trees. They have families. I just, I need to see one and I really want Dylan to see one up close because we are nature lo lovers and we just connect so much by finding wildlife. We do this thing where every time we go on a hike, we'll say, okay, what kind of animal do we want to see today? And then we'll try to manifest seeing that animal, and sometimes it works, but we've seen some pretty cool a stuff by doing that. A lot of the times it does work, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. A lot of the times it works. We've seen tarantulas, we've seen snakes, we've seen... The one most Weird time when that happened. We were driving through Zawaro West National Park, and I go, "All right, what do we want to see today?" Sam goes, "I want to see a tortoise." It's like a desert people, tortoise. A desert tortoise. So we're driving. About three minutes later, she goes, "Holy crap! I think I just saw a tortoise." And I was like, Arr! "We stop," and I'm like, "We're gonna go check it out." And Sam's like. We don't have to go check it out. Like I'm, I'm sure it wasn't. I was probably seeing stuff. It was a freaking desert tortoise that she spotted in the desert, driving past it, going like 20 miles an hour. I was mind blown. I'm not gonna brag here, but when I was in Costa Rica, I was on a tour. We were trying to look for sloths, and the tour guide couldn't find any sloths, and I found one in a tree. And he, he called. He told me that I have an eagle's eye. So just so you know. Got animal spotter. <laughs> animal spotter right here. <laughs> Anyways, what other information do we have? Um, I don't know. All I know is that I need an energy drink or coffee or something because... <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yes! I need the lonely in my belly. I got about 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, cool. This is not an ad. <laughs> We're just caffeine addicts. <laughs>
your safe is there. So hopefully it doesn't storm, but we did just hear a little bit of thunder. So you can kind of see it behind us. Rock Trail, inspiration point to the left. Onward. This part of the trail is completely new to us. That section we had done the previous time that we came, that was the last section, but now this is all new. We haven't been to Inspiration Point or the Heart of Loops Trail, so this is gonna be fun. Hopefully we can see some quaddies. Electrolyte break. Just about a mile and a half in, probably a little bit over. I'm sore from my run the other day, so my legs are feeling it already, and we have eight and a half miles to go. <laughs> Actually, probably about eight since it's nine and a half. But. I did not run. I took a week off, so I'm okay, but I'm starting to sweat because now we've been going uphill, so there's that. And no rain yet, or thunder anymore, so. Kind of looks like someone off of Hey Arnold. We had a quick snack break at Inspiration Point and that was inspirational, honestly. So, onward now and next stop, would you like to do the honors? Big Balance Rock. And we're gonna drink, we're gonna split a Celsius. And I am ready for it. It's what I am excited for. our furniture on Facebook Marketplace. And that's the reality <laughs> that we're living in right now. <laughs> started to rain so that's where we're at but no thunder yet luckily um, this is what the sky looks like thanks what I'm gonna do is put some large lights in here it's 
quite beautiful though. It ain't stopping us. Nope, not today. It started pouring out of nowhere. Um, it's thundering too. It's getting the lens a little wet. I'm trying to cover it with the hat, but they weren't joking when they said it comes out of nowhere. So we're sitting under a literal tiny tree. There's even hail. I think we brought the rain jackets. Look at how wet my pants are. <laughs> And we're four miles in, less than halfway. Guess we're just gonna sit and wait this one out. Yay! We've reached the big balance rock. And we are soaked. It just poured on us. It was hailing. We sat <laughs> for... under a tree for 30 minutes <laughs> at least. It wasn't even a tree, it was like a shrub. It literally looked like that. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> Soaked. But hey, <laughs> that's a big balanced rock right there. And the thunder has moved on, so we should be good. We're gonna continue trekking on. Yep. Hopefully, we dry out soon. We got five miles to go. Sam is wringing out her socks because they are soaked. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're debating right now. We either, we are going from, we went from here at Maasai Point, up, down, around, up to Inspiration Point, got caught in the rain here, and then we had big rock, big bouncing rock, and now we're debating on going around the loop or just going down and around, up. We're about halfway. We're already soaked. We're here. The only thing is, we don't know if the extra camera batteries are done for. Yeah, they're on the outside of my backpack, so hopefully I didn't screw that up. I'm sorry if I did, honey. Um. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be soaked. Shit. Well, let's not take them out of that because they might be okay inside. We <laughs> are pretty much just descending, and the whole oh path is God. covered. <laughs> this is oh shit! How are we gonna get across? Jump! Here, I got you on video. Nice. Lost the trail. Is it? No. Whoa. Okay, well, it's definitely not this way. And. It's not that way? No. Maybe we just didn't see where the trail.
trail ended up, but definitely in the heart of the rocks. I'm confused. Sun's coming out. I'm getting slightly hungry. We did say we were gonna have our Celsius at the big. I feel like this is the right trail. I know. Okay, we're back on path. It's a good sign. Bold maids this way. Maybe that's her. Camel's head. Wait, so old maid must be that way. That must be old maid. Oh, that I looks see. Looks like it. she's from Whoville. And there's Camel's head. I see it. Well, the sun is finally coming out, so it is time to take off all of the wet clothes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my arms are soaked, I'm surprised. They are? Yeah. My head didn't get wet at all, but it definitely got through the sleeves. Thank you Celsius for keeping us going. Without this, I might have lost hope. And right now, there's a little bit more hope. Honestly, Giant lizards everywhere. But we did not let that kill our mood. No, we're we were singing songs in the rain. We were chilling. Uh, it was like, good. It's kind of peaceful, to be honest. Intentionally, intentionally finding gratitude. All these lizards are coming out. There's literally three, four I can find right now. Hey, buddy. He ran away, but... <sighs> Holy crap, look at that one! Back at the Heart of Rocks trail loop beginning, and that felt like a long mile. We're gonna continue going because we almost did the loop twice. I failed to look the sign and realized we we're going back up the path to the loop. We got up to a spot where we saw that was familiar, and we were flabbergasted to say the least. I think we're both a little already over and we're halfway. Four hours in and it was only supposed to take four hours. Set in the rainstorm. We've been taking some videos and just being really slow. So time to put the camera down and we're just gonna just make some good time. All right. are looking up again. We are 
descending the canyon. We and don't remember what the trail name is called. We keep trying to remember. Yeah, we'll I keep on calling it Sanders Bullock. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I think it's Spruce Trail. It starts with an S. That's it's all definitely you know. starts with an S. But we're going down. You can't see right there really that good. Down the side of one side of the mountain through the canyon, and then we're gonna go up the other and then all the way back to where we started. And here in this break here, I'll show you exactly where it is. You can see we're on one side of the canyon that this follows. And if you look here, our car is at the peak of that. So we are far as shit still. We're here for it. So. There's like freaking waterfalls everywhere now since it just poured. Kind of cool. Um, I'll update you later. Sarah Deming Trail. I Sarah know. Deming. Started with an S. This guy. Maasai Point, 4.8 mile. For the parking lot. So. Which is 0.5 miles from the parking lot. Looks like it's gonna start raining over there again though, so we gotta plan accordingly. We're gonna make this quick 5k back to the car. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it's just really foggy. Thank God for uphill because my knees are killing. <clears throat> I'm glad we're we got this thousand to go uphill now. But, took some acetaminophen, <laughs> some Tylenol. We don't usually do that on hikes. We're just trying to do it in a quick wind. What time is it? It is 5:05. It's been about a six hour hike when it's usually about four hours. Four and a half. Four and a half. Oh There's some gosh. thunder in the distance, uh oh. 1.3 miles. Let's go. Let's go. That is wild. 1.9 miles from this way. Let's see what this one says. 1.6. Well. Looks like we're going the fun way, guys. This is crazy. Last time we were here, there was snow on the trail, and we were with my brother and my dad. He stayed back, but me and my brother and Sam went on this hike, so this section is really nostalgic, and it's cool being back, except the fact that the whole trail is flooded now. Um, we gotta find a way across this. Dang. Yeah, it's a good idea. Anyways, what shout out to you, that? Tanner. Wish you were here. That was an awesome time. I remember you saying that this was the one of the coolest hikes you've done. So it is awesome out here, even in the midsummer. So let's watch Sam cross this and be careful, one. I'm gonna hold the poles. Or are you gonna utilize them? All right. Careful at the end. Oh. <laughs> she said her boot just got soaked again. That Tylenol kicked in, huh? Look at that. All right, let's. My feet are already gonna get soaked, so we're just going for it. Whoa! Luckily, the pressure of the water isn't too bad. Ugh. Dang! <laughs> I'm just thankful for that we're alive. Oh shit! <laughs> Go to the right over here. Be careful, put the, yeah, put it in the water, not on the rock you're stepping on. Oh, another water crossing almost gone wrong. First off, that's a lot of foam. Okay. Woo. Oh. <laughs> You don't get that too much in Arizona. Echo Park, this is... Hello! 
Et... Alright, <laughs> people are going to think we're in, like, in danger. Just, just stress. <laughs> yeah. Half a mile left to the Nature Point Trail. Oh, we can see the road. You can see in the distance there's another storm coming in and there's some slight thunder. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain again. This whole trail is also flooded. Last time, it was ice. Found a sign, and this looks like where we cut off to start the trek. Side point trail. <sighs> Remember that one? Luckily, we're not starting. Point three miles. There it goes, 10 miles. Holy crap. We went all the way around, over, all the way down over there, and back. Six hours, 37 minutes later, and 10.2 miles so far. What an adventure it has been. So glad we got to do that before our travels. It's an experience we'll never forget. Getting rained on, hailed on, thunderstorms, having to sit under a freaking small tree, and then being soaked. I ended up drinking the rest of the Celsius without asking Sam if she wanted some. And that wasn't a good thing. I'm sorry, babe. Well, we thought this was going to be a nice four-hour hike. And then we would get up at 7, or get here by 7 and be done by 11. It is currently 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't start till about 11.30 when we expected to be done. So we brought an apple for each other. We also brought some nuts two granola bars, some Stroop waffles, and electrolytes. A beautiful sight today. This one is my favorite. <laughs> Only one left on the parking lot. Oh, it's the face of defeat. Time to go get some defeat. food. So that is it guys, thank you so much for watching and now we got our two hour drive back to Tucson so have a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more on our travels to South America coming up soon here in less than two months so we're excited and we also have the road trip back to Minnesota so be on the lookout for that but alright, see you later. <laughs>